I will show you how the cash letter looks like and in how many days I got the cash letter and what are the documents required for getting the cash letter from the university. So this is the cash letter which I got. Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel Naam Anoprayana. I make videos on study in UK and also I made couple of videos on my hair transplantation journey. Please do follow my channel, please subscribe and share. So in this video, I would like to share my journey, how to get the cash letter from the university. This cash letter is very important to apply UK student visa. The cash letter is given by the university. It will have the unique number by which the student is identified by UKVA. I will show you how the cash letter looks like and in how many days I got the cash letter and what are the documents required for getting the cash letter from the university. Firstly, select your course and apply to the university and send the required documents, the education documents, if you require IELTS marks. After submitting those documents, some people get a conditional offer letter, some people get unconditional offer letter. Nothing to worry about conditional offer letter. It says something is missing in your profile or in your uh, application. Suppose they can ask you IELTS marks or they can ask you academic documents, transcripts, etc. So once you submit all those things, your offer will become unconditional offer letter. So after getting admission to the university, getting unconditional offer letter, next step is applying for cash interview so for this you need to apply through their website or even the university will mail you to attend pre-cash interview or credibility interview so i have made couple of videos on pre-cash interview how to prepare the question and answers please find here or here i will add those links here so after applying and clearing the pre-cash interview now we are eligible for cash letter so to get cash letter we need to pay minimum deposit amount which is mentioned in your offer letter suppose uh, some universities ask for 1500 pounds some universities may ask at least 50 percent of the tuition fee so in my case they have asked 5500 pounds but i have paid full amount as i don't want to lose this intake after paying that deposit amount some university may ask you to get your uh, tb test done so tb test is compulsory to enter uk and it is valid for six months i will let you know how to book tb test in another video so after paying the deposit and uh, submitting the tb test report now you are eligible for cash letter some universities may ask you the evidence of uh, remaining funds that is remaining tuition fee and remaining cost of living so you need to maintain all these funds in your bank account appropriately so you should pre-plan in such a manner by the time of pre-cash you have your funds ready in your account so now you can apply for cash letter so after your pre-cash and submitting these documents at least university will take two to three weeks to give you the cash letter in my case in the north American university london campus i got my pre-cash within one day maybe you will also get that or maybe a little later but once you get this cash letter you can apply for your student visa so i will show you how the cash letter looks like so this is the cash letter which i got permission of acceptance for your studies in this they will mention the category of the visa we have applied this student visa and they will have all the details like the university number sponsor name the cash number this cash number is very important we need to mention it on our uh, visa application so next uh, when did you receive your cash letter when will it expire it shows it is it expires in six months if you have failed to get the visa and the cash letter expires you need to apply again here are the student details they will give our name date of birth gender our place of birth our passport number everything and we will have the course details also the application number we have applied the course we have applied and the course level level 7 which is masters and this is also important the course starting date and ending dates and make sure that you know these dates while giving the pre or credibility interview so after that the university address and the section is evidence provided See, here they have mentioned consolidated grade record that is cvcs and degree certificate of bachelor of science in mathematics statistics and computer science from this university we have assessed this student english language ability and confirm that it is equivalent to b2 or higher in each of our four components so they will mention all those things as i have submitted my bachelor's and uh, ielts report to university based on those reports they are giving me this offer so next uh, is the accommodation and fees so university is not providing any accommodation no no the tuition fee is around 13,500 
course fee paid to date till now i have paid complete tuition fee if you pay at the deposit the maybe 1500 5000 3000 whatever pounds maybe here they will mention you the remaining funds so next is graduate route notification successful course completion maybe these are not required as of now yeah that's it in the cas so they will mention all these details in your cas letter so after you get this cas letter you are eligible to apply visa so thanks for watching this video please comment your opinion and please mention on which topics i need to make more videos about studying in uk i'm more than happy to make videos on studying in uk please subscribe